Cyberpunk 2077 displays a futuristic view of technology, including, of course, virtual reality. In this video, we will show you what VR looks like in 2077 and how close we actually are from realizing this kind of technology today. Let's go! Real Life Brain Dance. Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. In Cyberpunk, one of the missions takes you to a virtual strip club of the future. Here, you can sit down and enjoy a brain dance. Essentially a VR first-person view recording of, well, you know what. However, these brain dances are not like VR as we know it. They utilize brain-computer interfacing that doesn't just read your neurons, they also write to them. What this means is that any feeling, emotion, pain and pleasure can be designed and delivered through the technology, constituting the ultimate VR experience. In Cyberpunk, you are on a mission, however. You're not just there to have fun. You try out the technology by entering into a raw brain dance recording to gather information for an investigation. Let's take a look at how this works. In normal mode, you simply experience the experience as it was experienced. You can't move your head or walk about the scene. The whole experience is predetermined. The fidelity of this experience is extremely lifelike. It has super high resolution visually, and you feel emotions and bodily sensations. In short, it's a perfect recreation of the experience of those who recorded it. What's more, in editing mode of the brain dance, you can pause, go back and forward in time, and edit your experienced reality to craft something unique. In editing mode, you can also move outside of your body, as the software has rendered a crude version of the environment based on the recording. This brain dance technology is an extreme realization of the VR medium. The ability to capture and replay reality as it is experienced. But how far are we from such technology today? Are we able to record reality? To investigate this, we once again have to turn to the adult industry. This device might look like it's from 2077, but it is, in fact, from today. This is a recording setup for shooting adult VR productions from a first-person view. Creepy. So, how do they work? Usually, 180-degree or 360-degree cameras have multiple lenses for each eye in order to produce a three-dimensional effect. The audio is either binaural or ambisonic in order for it to be immersive and lifelike so that you feel as if the sounds are actually happening around you. Although it is stereoscopic and produce a 3D effect, however, you cannot actually move about inside the recording. You can only move in 3 degrees of freedom, not 6 degrees of freedom as in normal VR. But this might change very soon. In September, here at the Old VR YouTube channel, we covered the newest iteration of Google's light field technology for creating volumetric videos. Here, able to move back and forward up and down, and towards the sides in 6 degrees of freedom. This is light field technology, which use and combine a great rig of cameras and a whole lot of processing power to make it possible. As you can see, this rig is certainly too large for any spy recording akin to what's done in Cyberpunk, but in providing a recording of reality, it's quite close in effect. There is something missing though. The brain-computer interface. Google's light field technology only provides visual and auditory stimuli, not any stimulation of brain waves. But there is hint of this within our horizon. Also in 2020, 
we saw a presentation by Elon Musk that showed a giant leap in the brain interfacing technology of today. Elon Musk finally displayed his hyped up Neuralink in live condition, reading brain waves at a much greater bandwidth than ever before. The Neuralink, however, does not just aim to read brain waves, it also wants to write to them, which will totally change the reality game of human beings. With some sort of combination between a volumetric light field capture rig and a Neuralink, it is not inconceivable that brain dances may be a reality in the future. At this YouTube channel, AltVR, we frequently do such experiments ourselves. We have used VR in sensory deprivation tanks, created mergings of physical and virtual surroundings, and also created out-of-body experiences using 3D cameras and drones. If you're interested in futuristic cyberpunk technology, remember to subscribe to the channel so you'll catch our newest projects.